Good morning and welcome back to the Apocalypse and Project Zomboid. It's an early morning because I wasn't even paying attention when I hit sleep last night here. So we got an early night, um, which is fine. Get rid of some unnecessary weight. And if I take the AK into my hand, I'm still overweight. Splitting axe we found yesterday, let's also put that away, and I think that should fix it. Yeah. Alright, so. We did a little bit of shooting last night. And cleared out the road up to the entrance of the military base here of Fort Rockridge. The plan today is to breach Fort Rockridge, get inside, and hopefully establish um, the secure perimeter in the uh, in the area where the, the the main building is. So. For that, I think I'm gonna see if we can just push down this road here with melee. Sure, which weapons I'm currently is supposed to be using. I guess the spear is lagging behind. Long blunt is lagging behind. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Give me that thing. Oh. That's a couple, couple guys here. Since the AK is now not our weapon, but just the weapon on our back, we're slightly over, over the weight limit, but that's fine, as long as we don't have too many runners at once. Down the trees. Couple more up the road. I'm, I'm kind of debating if I want us to do shooting just to get them all to come. Yes, I don't want to pull in anyone from further up north. So maybe once we're around the bend here, then we could do some shooting. And again, all this this wood area in the south is kind of an unknown factor. Oh, I need I need some I need some sound here. Whoop 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 whoop! whoop. Not that sound. What? 
in the world. Anybody to come in from that direction. Oh boy. I'm not shooting at the guy I want to shoot. Terrifies me a little bit. Just the thought of if we just went with melee, how many of those guys would have been just sitting in the trees behind us the whole time? <laughs> oh, I'm sure what to say. This is uh, not sure what I expected, but not stream of zombies coming out of the woods. Not have free spare magazines for this thing. I do have. Okay. We didn't attract anything from further up north, so that's a good sign, I guess. Reload first. This is... Hopefully as far as we got earlier. Oh, there's two runners suddenly behind me, okay. certain I packed a gas mask. Yeah, let's actually put that on so we're not getting crop sickness quite that fast. Still gonna get it, just a little bit slower. Pick it up. Yeah, we're not even yet at the part of the road where I wanna cross over, right? We're still super far away from this. Well, not super far, but a little bit further down here, I think. Not sure if there was another bend in the road. Let me actually... Map. What's the game? No. Okay. Just a little bit further south.
Make sure all the magazines here for the AK are reloaded before I start shooting again. And we're gonna have to then go and grab the car in a second. Super paranoid about the trees behind me and everything. One runner coming. It's kind of hoping that this would be a little bit more. A mission where I could do some more melee, right? Because I kind of feel like something. Firearms is fun, but it's also kind of just point your mouse in the right direction and press the button. Uh, uh, okay. Unless, unless your weapon is jammed, then you need to press the other button. I'm gonna do this now. To make matters worse, now I hear zombies, but they are the, the ones that are behind the fence. I think it's time we wrap grab our um, Humvee. Ah, I'm just gonna walk back, read out the magazines in the process. One of the big concerns here is that we're, we're running out of time. But killing the zombies takes so much time that we're not going to get inside and secure a, well, the base, really. Right? We need to sleep somewhere inside. Also good. Um, let me actually just put that stuff away. Let's have half of our stew here. Not sure how, much, how long that's gonna stay fresh, so let's just make sure we eat this while it's still fresh.
This is a totally reasonable amount of zombies on the road. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. I was wondering if it was a little bit of a, of a lame, uh, cheap approach, you know, instead of just driving here and starting to fight. So this is then the area here um, where the actual stuff starts. You know, I think I wanna I wanna AK this just for the bigger sound range. And maybe it's gonna make me feel better or safer when we start chopping some trees and building the stairs, yeah. That's one coming through the trees, I think. There we are, or four of them. coming close the moment I'm dealing with a weapon jam is kind of annoying and also kind of rude you know if you think about it they, they really should just check if I'm ready for them and only then you know? Did he have that that rifle? Like, was he impaled by the rifle there? You gotta check that body. That's that's kind of weird. Maybe it's like with a bayonet. So many zombies. What is this? A zombie apocalypse? what they've done with my AK. So much condition already lost here. Always one more zombie. I don't want to be fully reloaded here on my guns. That is... Why is there somebody on the road behind me? That is kind of... Unwanted. Dude. Can you come out, please? So, how are we gonna approach this? I think, first things first, I want some better line of sight. What's the fences? I know there's a bunch of zombies behind the fences. 
see what I'm dealing with here. Oh boy. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Should be enough for now. Put you in the roof rack. What am I looking for? So, yeah, let me just grab a garden fork here. Yeah? And see if there's anyone like with spears and to a certain extent with knives you can poke through fences. Not, not very, you know, not good sportsmanship. But if, if they didn't want to be poked, they wouldn't be standing at the fence. Oh, gotta check, that was a fully military gear dude. That reminds me, who was this, this impaled zombie here? Oh, free protein bar, don't mind if I do. No. Just looked weird here with that, that rifle. Okay, back to Stamin. shouldn't be pushing through the fence. That's concerning. Thing is, you will not hear if there's a zombie creeping up on you in this. Oh, look at that! Katana, yellow jumpsuit. That isn't whatever her name was from Kill Bill. Starting to cough now. Did I did I have my my froggy chair here? My froggy chair. Do I just need to? Uh, uh, there it is. Don't mind me. We're just gonna have a quick nap here. Uh, not nap. 
quick rest. I think that's most of the ones that are close, so we're gonna need we're gonna need the saw. Should be safe enough to uh, speed to this here, no? It's immediately cancelling my speed up again, what? Okay. Please tell me I brought some extra nails and didn't just rely on it. Yeah, I always have nails on me. Just don't look in the direction of the zombies, then you can speed up time. Easy. Um, let's grab like, I don't know, four planks. Or rather, oh, oh, they're all coming closer here as soon as I'm going up there. Well. Oh, convenient. <laughs> Gonna damage the suit here a little bit, but that's... Just for the record, I don't think I've ever done something like this in Project Zomboid before. Do you have a guitar on your back? What the hell? What kind of military base is this? So, I mean, this is also convenient and inviting to take care of those zombies over there. But I want to get inside this place first, yeah. Fence, not, not enough wood, okay. One little known fact here is that being on top of the stairs allows uh, um, means we're not affected by the corpses on the ground. If 
you're on a different level, you're not going to be getting crop sickness. Right, anyway. wait for everybody to come. We're doing some fucking again. And I'm actually thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck these guys up here. Oh but we're into into drowsy territory, huh? Um, let's, yeah, let's have an energy drink and think about the situation. Where am I going to spend the night? I have some ideas, but I don't, I don't like them myself. Assuming as soon as I go up here, they're gonna fill back in into the corner. As a sage, I don't even know this mechanic works. So my idea was, um, as soon as I clear out these guys, then I'm gonna make a little platform up here, take out one of the platforms that leads towards the road, so nobody can come in from this side, and then we can in theory sleep up here. Cheerleader with pom poms here. That was, that was a good, good line up here. So many more over there. Turns out a lot of zombies in the military base. Okay. Do I have oh, I have my magazines in here? I hope that explains it. Okay, that is, that's an issue. That is uh, concerning. But 
I didn't didn't uh, put a sheet rope up yet to get back out of this one, so we gotta. got to build a uh, stairs up here, but you know what, since I'm here, Curiosity, that's an info, the sniper rifle is the one I was seeing there. I'm sure we're gonna find plenty of weapons uh, over time here. So that was a terrible mistake. Even the model zombies were not gonna get quickly into the main base, into the main building here to spend the night there, so we need to improvise something up here. Right. Um let's grab all these planks. If I didn't have any more um, nails now, that would be a much bigger problem. <laughs> Thankfully, we just loaded up on nails. Let's make a little bit of a bigger platform where I'm not so easily falling down. Actually, not there, not there. And then I'm gonna disassemble. That floorboard again to make sure nobody from inside can uh, can up here, come up here. And then just to make it a little bit foolproof, huh? Because I'm I'm the fool here. Add some wooden fences. Next level of foolproofness. Okay. The sheet rope, so we can, can come back up here. I just want to make sure I cannot fall into the base. So far, so good. Rocky chair, so we can sleep up there. Good. So we can move up, disassemble a piece of. of Lowering there, all well, that means I kind of want to have. Just want to make sure I have some planks up here so I can rebuild this.
Okay, well that's um, if we ever want to sleep here, we're gonna have to clean out all the zombies around us. So let's get stabbing. seeing anything on this side so let's actually hop down and step through this fence So yeah, in theory you can sleep up here. Um, well, so the big question is, how are we going to enforce the whole you can only loot once set? Can I still get back on my car? I think I have to be able to get back up, get to my car. What I can't do is drive away. Like, I need to be able to get on the, on the supplies, get more ammo, get more other stuff. But I think to stay within the you can only loot one's rules, we cannot drive away. So we're now technically in I'm like my curiosity is really telling me, oh I should, you know, build something so I can get down there and look through these corpses, look for maybe some there were military backpacks, which is something we don't have yet, right? We're still running with a um, good old Alice pack. And we might have another car 15 in there. I've been just really nervous the whole time because I'm kind of constantly seeing the heavy load icon here. Which is not great. Oh, we're looking for ammo. 60 rounds on the AK. Actually make sure that is fully reloaded. We have the pistol. Magazines reloaded, barely any ammo left. Okay. We're getting sleepy. Anyway, so let's get rid of the cooking pot. Grab some extra food for the next day. Gonna need ammo. Say six more boxes of nine mil and half of those boxes of seven six two. I want to actually also do one more thing here. Let's get another two sheet ropes. Those planks. Oh, 
going to add one more fence here. And there. It's not quite what I wanted, but it's on the right side of the fence. Should be right. Yeah, okay. Disassembly option here. Okay. Now, technically, we are now on a floating island that is not supported anywhere by any any physics, but we're just ignoring that. It's, you can sleep much better if you just ignore physics. Uh, I, AK ammo, 9mm. Can almost get to uh, get to no encumbrance. There we are. All right, Josie. Eight. Sleep. And we should not see any any queasiness, sickness here, even though we're sleeping above a hundred corpses, because we're on a different level. Okay. Well, this adventure so far is on a whole different level, and we'll see if we can secure this part of the base here. Got our work cut out for us. There's definitely a lot of zombies in there. Um, yeah, and I'm still... I kind of want to hop over to this side to at least have a look at the corpses before they decay, but if we we're not um, pressed for time. I mean, gotta... Let's have a quick look. What did I set up here? Uh, sandbox options, sandbox options. What is the is that zombie lower? No, oh, that's that's normal. Living the world's nature. What is the zombie corpse decay? That's zombie options, maybe. I have no idea. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out uh, at some point and... Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll figure it out by, by next episode. For now, we're gonna put a cut in here. And I'll, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.